another beautiful day in the town of Umo Otutu Ugep. It is Ledon Boku, meaning male festival. And today is the Etangala Masquerade Carnival Festival. It is a time where you see a crowd coming out to celebrate the able men of Umo Otutu by rallying around the masquerade and singing songs of things that have happened in the past one year. As you can see, there is a lot of crowd out here. It is one of the biggest carnivals you can ever find in West Africa, in Nigeria, in Cross River State. Work with us as we interview some of the people in the streets. Okay, celebrate my brother. this carnival. You tell us your name. What's your name? Oh, Gostan. Gostan. Gostan, please, we would love to hear from you. What is the highlight for you in today's carnival? Oh, like today is very good and one kind wonderful events that always happen once in our life like for me the thing I love the most is like the yansh because the girls as in their yansh alone give me vibes but the most important thing is the new yam that is a gift of God okay the highlight for God's time in this carnival is the yansh <laughs> according to God's time thank you thank you for your time new yam okay and another thing is the new yams that means you enjoy eating the yams oh with red or yummy fresh one okay thank you god's time thank you thank you go have fun okay but we had the liboku contest night and we had someone emerge victorious i'm here with the um, mr liboku 2023 please can we meet you sir my name is easy i'll call you to me native of lake panko meji manu gave a local government area of cross river state by the grace of god the mr Liboku 2023. Etangala display dance is one of the most um, appreciating and uh, persuasive cultural display I love so much about the Liboku festival. I have never skipped it, even if I am far, nor near. I do as much as possible to make sure that I partake in this Etangala because it's one of the persuasive culture I love so much. Most especially the chanting of the Liboku New Year's Festival and also the parade of the of the masquerades. I mean the Ebla move from one council ward to another is something I love so much. So I have um I've always loved to be a partaker of the Tangala New Year Festival just as my culture debut. What is your message to the younger ones, to the youths of the town? Thank you very much. Before I became there Mr Leboku it was so challenging. I have witnessed numerous of um, Leboku, uh, Mr. and Miss Leboku contests and I say to myself, if they can do it, how much more I can do better. So I took it as a challenge to make sure. You see, contesting for Mr. Leboku is not just you coming to win a car. Mr. and Miss Leboku teaches us a lot, most especially on camp. I know how much I learned in camp because we have a series of lectures with a series of professors or both being a who taught us much about our culture. Those things I never knew before. I learned them because of this contest. So it's a privilege contesting for it. So I urge everyone, I advise you, even if you are not contesting for Mr. Leboku, try and learn as much as possible to know more about your culture. Because we get, we get culture and every other activity is displayed on it. It's very, very on my neck is called Stockfish, which we all know. In local we call it Iporokon. This is Leporokon And this is Iporokon that means the head and the tail. Most especially during Janemboku and Ledomboku. During Janemboku, we tie this around uh, the female, the, 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 the female gender of the I mean the Ugep child, the female gender of the Ugep child. And during the Ledomboku, we tie it around the male gender of the Ugep child. This signifies that um, uh, Leboku New Year Festival has come to stay, and there is a lot for me to enjoy. And that is the main reason why we tie this around our neck and also in our arms to display or depict the, our cultural heritage and how persuasive and also pervasive it is. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Liboku. Thank God you. bless you. Thank Coming from Mr. Liboku to us is that we should try and learn and know more about our culture and we should try also to participate in our culture nonetheless. <laughs>
Esta Okoy Ubungobla, Obol Etangala of Umu to Ebro to. Chief, we would like to hear from you. You would like you to tell us about the significance of Etangala. Bebe, 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 Etangala, yay, yay. Bebe, Bebe, Etangala, yay, yay. Bebe, 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 Etangala, yay. Hi, Abbas. Abbas. Yeah, that's a jagam. You see, Yaka is a melting point of the Afix, the Bibios, the Jagams, the Aroshuku people of Abia State, the whole Aofia, the Afipo, the Abriba. The Abribas are from here, migrated from here, and the Ibon connection. If you talk about the Ibon connection, Uruan, which is a thick, the, you know, Yaka, the Aroshuku, the Abriba, we were all living in Ibom. The Ebrutu people who came from ancient Egypt migrated to Cameroon with the Oran people, and we are here today. And if you look at the Yaka culture, it's a reflection. The language, Efik, Ejagam, and the Cross River Igbo people, which I have mentioned, Aroshiko, the interconnectedness of the people of the Cross River Basin. And when I'm talking about the Cross River Basin, I'm talking about the Anang people, the Efik people, the Bibio people, the Yaka people, the Ejagam people, the Aroshiko people. Thank you very much, Chief. This is why we say a Tangala yes. is a cannibal, yes. a big cannibal in that matter. Yes. The of course, party. of course, Chief. We would like you to tell us because they say culture is the way and life of a people. Yes, all the Akan people had a Tangala, not Ugep. The Tangala of Ugep came from Nko. You don't go. Of course. Yes, we took it from Nko, but it's, it's the a culture of our ancestors. Chief, we would like you to tell those who will always say that our culture is fetish. We would like you to. No, 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 no. Look, those are those are soft, those people who are suffering from colonial mentality. I have told you, Christianity started from us. We are the Hebrew two people, the tribe, one of the lost tribes of Israel, the Hebrew two. The, Hebrew two, the Israelites were not Europeans, they were not white people, they were us, Africans. And we are here, we took off from ancient Egypt, Sudan, Egypt, Nubian. And then we went to Cameroon, and then we came here. We are the the founders of Christianity. Christianity originated from us, not not the white people. The white people were vandals. The Europeans were vandals. They came to Africa to study science, to study chemistry, they study physics, architecture, and everything. So we we are the cradle of humanity. Africa the, the, is the cradle of humanity. So they are something so fetish. We taught the Europeans culture. We taught them history. We taught them science. And we are here. So the Europeans cannot come here and condemn us. Christianity is a is an adult adulteration of what of the original Christianity, which is Africa. For instance, wedding, white wedding, is rubbish. That's European culture. The original people, we are with the motherland, the Africa, is the motherland. Where everything came from. Even the Europeans came from here. The Asians came from here. Every humanity came from here, from the, the mother womb. That is why we have a matrilineal culture. We don't oppress women. We love the women because that is the origin of humanity. The human womb. And it's here. Even today they are yellow, they are white, they are black, they are this brown. Africa. Mother, they came from Mother Africa. Wow. That's very nice. That's and, and this is this, this is Thanksgiving. Lebaku is Thanksgiving. To Obasoburo Pabi. Yes. Abasi Abasuburu Pabi. The Efix will say Abasuburu Pabi. The Ebibio Abasuburu Pabi. We call it Obase Uburu Pabi. The Almighty God. But so then, today we are saying thank you. A bountiful harvest of beautiful youngs, beautiful ladies. That is what we are celebrating. Thanksgiving. 
that is why I say Christianity is original Africa. What they do, they, they go, all the churches, that is bastardization of our culture. Uh, everything came from here. Obasuburu Pabi. Obasuburu Pabi. What is he talking about? The Almighty God, the Supreme God, the Sovereign, the Giver of life, of everything. And that is what we are celebrating. We are thanking God for a bountiful harvest. This is the end of the year, the, the new year in our culture, not what the Europeans brought. It's the African culture. This is the beginning of the new year. If you survive one year, you thank God for life. And that is what we are doing today. Wow, thank you, Chief. You can see the Obol has spoken and you can see the affirmative reaction from the crowd. This is why he's Obol Etangala of Umotutu Ebrutu. Uh, the interview has been an eye-opener. I believe you will agree with Six. We wish you a happy Liverpool celebration. Thank you so much. Thank you,